Hello and welcome back to 10 minute English lessons with Alex. This is episode number 35. Today is Wednesday and every week, every Wednesday, we have our intermediate learner videos. And in today's video, we are going to talk about two grammar points that you, the viewer, requested. We're going to talk about the grammar point, may I, and the grammar point, can I? I will explain to you what is the same about these two grammar points and what is completely different about these two grammar points. If you can, hit the thumbs up button. That lets me know if you're enjoying this type of grammar video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, of course, hit that subscribe button below. That way you get all of the new videos as soon as they come out. Without any further ado, let's get over to the classroom and start today's video. Okay, let's get started with the video. So we are going to discuss today what is the same about may I and can I, and what is the difference between may I and can I. I have to start with a small disclaimer. Most native English speakers use these two phrases or two terms interchangeably. Uh, if you're not familiar with the word interchangeably, basically it means you do, it has basically the same meaning or the same feeling. For example, if you go to McDonald's and you order uh, a cheeseburger, a fry, and a Coke, and they say, we don't have Coke, we have Pepsi. Eh, Pepsi's interchangeable. For me, they almost taste the difference. Now, I know by saying Pepsi and Coke are the same, many people are going to be angry. But what I'm trying to explain, the word interchangeable means that you can use these two different things and they're almost the same. Pepsi and Coke, they're pretty interchangeable, <laughs> I think. So basically, they're the same. So the grammar point may I and can I is basically interchangeably for most native speakers. But there is a huge difference between the two. First, let's start with the grammar point may I. Now, we all know that the grammar point may I is basically requesting permission to do something. For example, may I have a piece of pie? Or may I drive your car? <laughs> or may I ask your name? In these three sentences or these three questions, they're asking you permission to do something. May I have a piece of pie? May I drive your car? May I ask your name? Now, like we said before, may I and can I are basically interchangeable, but there is a huge difference between those two. Let me give you a little example. I don't know, maybe 20 years ago, I was in a class and I wasn't feeling very well and I wanted to go to the restroom. So I asked my teacher, excuse me, ma'am, can I go to the restroom? And I remember this very well because my stomach was in pain and I really needed to go to the restroom. And I thought my teacher was joking around with me. I asked her, can I go to the restroom? And she said to me, I don't know, can you? And I, it, it my mind, I'm just thinking, what, can I go? <laughs> I really need to go, can I go? And then my teacher said to me, Alex, go ahead. And when I was in the washroom, I'm thinking about why is this lady messing with me? I really had to go to the restroom. Why was she joking around when I was obviously in pain? And when I came back, I sat down at my desk and of course I said, you know, you know, thank you, ma'am. And at that point, she actually explained to the whole class what she was talking about. When I asked, can I go to the restroom? She asked me, I don't know, can you? Because the word can is actually talking about ability. So may I is talking about requesting permission, but can I is actually talking about the ability to do something. So when my teacher said, 
I don't know, can you? She was saying, I don't know, are your legs broken? Are you stuck to your chair? Is the restroom broken or out of order? Because I use the grammar point of the phrase, can I? It was basically asking, am I able to do something? Do I have the ability to do something? Can I walk there on my own? Do I need someone to help me walk there? So this is the difference between the two. When you use the expression, may I, you're asking for permission. When you use the expression, can I, you're talking about the ability to actually do something. Here, let's take a look at a couple more examples. What if I said to you, can I drive from Canada to America? <laughs> can I drive from Canada to America? What am I asking? Am I asking for your permission to do it? Or am I talking about the ability to do it? Or how about, can I use your phone? Is that asking permission or is that asking ability? Maybe your mobile phone is 25 years old or maybe the screen is broken or maybe the battery is about to die. I don't know. But if I say, can I? This is actually asking about ability. Okay, guys. So basically these two terms, may I and can I, they're interchangeable. Basically, they're the same thing. Again, most native speakers, they won't care either way. But if you're in an English class, if you're at a university, if you're writing a paper, be careful with these two grammar points because they are different. All right, guys, I hope that helped out. And if there's any other grammar points that you want us to talk about on this channel, please hit me in the comment section below. Until next time, aloha.